tell us just wait from now on? Is it just going to be easier than the awkward intros? Because I have no clue what I'm doing. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I told you it's so awkward, my intros suck. Give me tips. So today's video is, as you can tell, probably by the thumbnail as well, it is a shopping haul. There will be clips of me trying on certain items as well, so stay tuned if you like to watch a good plus size fashion video. Um, so today, this is my metal haul spree. I don't typically spend a great deal. Um, I am a poor person. So when I do go shopping, I make sure that I do... Um, Come on, you, you're not. I make sure I do film it and show you guys what I got. So I know you're always interested to see what I've been buying and what certain things look like on a plus size body. There's not enough videos out there that show it. So here I am. These videos are always a hit. So let's just jump in. So I went to Meadow Hall. Um, if you're familiar with that, then hey. If you're not, it's like um, it's like a big. Is it like a Trafford Centre? It's like a it's like a mall. If you're from America, uh, we don't see that here. It's just like a shopping centre type thing. Um, tons of shops. It's great. I don't go very often. So I went into Boots. These are the the shops I bought from. So Boots, Primark, and and Summers. And we went for a meal as well. Went with my friend Sophie. So if you're if you're watching Sophie, hi. Thanks for taking me. Great day. Um, so they're the shops that we went to and the items I bought are in these bags and I'm going to share with you and show you how they fit on a plus size woman. So let's just jump right in. So I'm going to start with Primark as that is like a main one. I think this is where I got the majority of the items from as well. So first off I bought some pyjamas because I don't own any pyjamas like at all. By the way do you like my new hair? Uh, yeah, I don't wear pyjamas. I just tend to wear, like, a vest top or a t-shirt and some underwear. I don't wear pyjamas. I thought it's about time. Um, so I picked up some shorts because I didn't find any long ones that I'd like. And I really would have liked some long pyjamas. So I picked these bad boys up. These look huge, right? How big do these look on camera? I picked these up off the hangers and I was like, they are ginormous. They're going to be too big. But I picked them up and... They actually aren't too big. I have a large bum and these struggle to keep the butt in. So if you look at a pair of pyjamas like this and think they're huge, please don't judge them until you have tried them on. So these ones, they have a pocket, which is nice for pyjamas to put your little phone in. Um, and we have this sort of lace detailing along the bottom of the leg. And it does go all the way around the butt as well. And we do have this as a... a a fashion pull cord there's no strings all the way around it's just a fashion tie um doesn't go through the band or anything they are stretchy and they are cotton to go with it let me just see if i can find i need to find a receipt that would be a help okay so the little shorts so we don't lose track of what we've got they're called grindle shorts and these were four pounds I have tried them on and wore them so I can give you a full review um, these shorts I wouldn't buy them again I'll insert a clip somewhere here of me wearing the shorts they aren't very comfortable they are cotton and they are stretchy but they don't allow your leg to expand so do you know if you've got quite large thighs and you sit down and they kind of like spread like to Asia um, they don't allow for that and it, and it can kind of feel like it's cutting off the circulation and they are like cheeky shorts that's what they're called um, so they do come up quite high and they don't keep my butt in so if I pull them up from the front they come low down in the back um, if I pull them up the back they give you a camel toe and they don't come up your stomach or your hips so these shorts are designed for skinny girls, for slim girls should I say, I don't want to sound offensive, but these aren't designed for a plus size body. Um, if you have a large bottom, 
I don't like that word, a large bottom. If you have quite a big bum and hips and thighs, these won't do you any justice, they're not comfortable for that. They're fine just to slob around the house in. Uh, I'm not gonna throw them away or anything, I will use them, but I wouldn't buy them again personally. So they are four pounds. Oh, if you're wondering what size is as well. Um, in pajamas, I tend to pick the biggest size they have available. These are a size 18 to 20. In Primark, 20 is the highest it goes. So yeah, it might look big. It doesn't cater to plus size girls. But again, if you have a slimmer, if you have slimmer legs, if you don't have love handles or huge hips like I do, they might be okay for you. So that's the short and the top is a big hit an absolute huge hit with me i've already worn this um like a whole day so i'll also insert something this top it took me a long time to take it off this morning to show you i'm obsessed so on the camera it has this sort of embroidery at the front here it is a dark charcoal gray the sleeves are incredibly long we do have like a fur lining so it's like a really soft jersey material and the outside is the softest cotton you will ever feel it is just divine um this is by far my best buy of 2018 um i love this i would wear this outside like go into the shop because i think this could pass as a jumper as well like a sweater it's a sweater it's not it doesn't look like pajamas it does come low down as well so if you just want a little bit of coverage on your booty not not full coverage but halfway it depends how long your torso is I suppose I have a long torso and a big ass so but it comes just halfway down the cheeks for me and it covers up my underwear on the front which is great as well so you can just slob in this it's amazing Um, super soft Oh, just love it. This one was a little bit more pricier than the short. Let's take a look, see. So, hmm. PV oversized sweater, I think it's trying to say. I'm sure that's what it says. And that's eight pounds. Sizing, let's just have a little look. This is very oversized, it's really baggy and it just feels really big and cosy there's no tightness anywhere this for me is like two sizes up to what i'd normally wear um, when i put it on which is good because pajamas i like to be comfy cozy and are we still filming yes uh yeah so this is a what this is a large and that's a size uk 14 to 16 and it's huge Surely that's not right. Wait a minute. Size UK to Ireland 14 to 16, USA 10 to 12. Oh, what? I'm sure I picked up an extra large. I didn't, and I've been wearing this, and it is huge. I'll show you on the side by side how big this is. And it's a UK 14 to 16. Well, that makes me feel great. But yeah, it fits great. It is really nice and baggy. I love it. Love, love, love. 10 out of 10. Would buy this again. Next, we have this thing here. Um, if you like to slob around without a bra on, like myself, I wore a bra in the video because you don't want to see none of that. So this is a, let me see. A secret possessions top and it has hidden support so we have this lovely lace here on the outside and it comes really high up on the chest as well um, it is literally just a strappy cami has adjustable straps which is perfect like a bra adjustable bra strap type thing so if you want it higher on the chest you can obviously adjust it if you'd rather have it lower down that's totally up to you um, it's quite long it's not like cover your bum long but it's long enough um, it covers the entire stomach for me and I do have a long torso like I've said now the hidden support is just inside So as you can see there's a stretchy like extra panel just inside um, it just kind of stops your boobs from sagging down <laughs> And escaping on and looking like it's part of your belly um, It's just a little bit of something extra for you to just keep the boys in I guess um, <laughs> I have quite large breasts and 
it, I don't know. It just it's just a little helping hand to stop the nips being shown, I suppose. But yeah, I could use that as a drama top. It's really comfy. Um, yeah, what did we get a size here? Let me get the good old receipt. This was two pound fifty, and this is um, classed as an extra large UK eighteen to twenty. Now this material is very like fitted, so it does really stick to everything, all your curves and your boobs and everything. But that's fine because I like that with a cami top. Why are you wobbling? So yeah, that is my other item from Primark. We I don't actually have that much left from Primark. Um, next up, it's not clothing, so there won't be any sort of demonstration on it. I need if you <laughs> if you have watched my previous makeup videos on tutorials, you'll see that I'm in killer need of a new eyelash curler. It is dead. So I bought a new eyelash curler, and this is so bloody cute. It's pink handles and it's got the pink sort of spongy type thing. Um, Insta girl. <laughs> it was only a pound. Big lash curlers. Um, yeah, I really needed some of those. My my ones I've got now. The cushions kind of disintegrated and the spring loaded element has totally gone. So fingers crossed, this is nice and springy. Please be springy. Oh yeah. Oh. It has a nice spring to it. So that is what I needed. So I got it. How much are you? You were a pound, so I don't need to check the receipt for that. One pound, there is different types if you wanted one. Um next up. Um because I'm on I have to explain everything. Why can't I just show you? Sorry. Because I'm on a medication that takes my immune system away. I have to be extremely careful what I eat, what I touch, what I put in my mouth. <laughs> And, you know, I just have to be really careful. I can get really ill really fast. So I thought it was time to invest in some hand sanitizer just to have on me in my handbag. Um, you know, just in case I have touched something and not a chance to wash my hands before I eat or something. It's there. And this is candy floss scented because I'm like a big baby. I like to smell like a fruity mother earthless. I can't get in it. I'm not even I'm not even smelt it. These things are packaged like crazy. Oh, please don't break. Right, we're in. We're in, bitches. These things normally smell horrible, like alcohol burn, stinking nose off. That actually smells quite nice. Let me, let me see. I'm a little excited. Oh, yeah, that noise is so satisfying. So I will chuck that in my handbag. Oh, I'm the cooling element. If you're wondering what lipstick I have got on, um, it is my absolute favourite formula. It is Sleek Makeup Liquid Lip Matte Cream. It's in a previous video. Um, it's outstanding. It's not dry. It's not sticky in the corners. No cracks, no creases, no, no dry, horrible, brittle. It's perfectly smooth and I'm like obsessed. I just want more colours. So, ah, uh, mm, mm, okay. So last thing I got from Primark, I think, was, I've, right, I've been wanting, again here we go with my little story time, I've been wanting a proper journal slash planner slash goalkeeper um, for this year. I want to be more organised, I have injections to take, I have bills to pay, I have videos to upload, I need to sort my life out. So I wanted a diary type journal and this is the one I picked up in Primark. Now, I went in a few shops in Meadowhall looking for something very similar to this. Um, I went, is it Paper Mate or some, something like that? It's really expensive. Something like this would have cost £14 in there. Um, I'll show you what it's like inside. I haven't wrote in it or anything. So, it's like, we have the day and the month. So, it's not all planned out for you. You can write it down. Day and a month. Today's objective timetable so like if i've got things to do on that day i can plan my day out notes there's a big section for notes here uh, that's the timetable there day and everything and down in this column we have a to-do list a next list this is like this gives me the goodest vibes in the world and at the bottom objectives and projects so this is like plan your life day by day don't fail and oh oh i didn't see this oh excitement i have one of these no diary is a diary without one of these so I, it's really nice and the material of this 
it's like it's not hard but it's not thin it is just really well made and this would have cost quite a lot in a different shop this was in fact four pounds if you want to go grab one i'd say go get on before they run out i wanted a fluffy pen to go with it but i couldn't i couldn't get one so that i am really happy about and i can't wait to start writing in it next we went to boots i got some deodorant this is like my favorite deodorant the smell of this is so refreshing and oh i just it's cucumber and green tea scent um and it's zero alcohol antiperspirant this is my favorite deodorant it just it smells so good love it so i had to get some more of them lastly in boots i didn't get a bag for boots uh, i got a new eyebrow pencil because i need a new eyebrow pencil i'm obsessed with eyebrows i've done really good today look how great so I picked up a new eyebrow pencil um, and this is Maybelline Master Shape Brow Pencil and I picked up like a, does it say the shade on it? Does it say? Soft brown, so they were blonde, soft brown, dark brown and black I think. I picked up the soft brown. It has a spoolie on the end which is like amazing, a lot of products don't. And the pencil on this end and that's what it looks like. So yeah, I've never tried that, so it'd be interesting to see how that goes because I'm using pomades at the minute and let's mix it up a little bit. So finally, last one. Every girl has to do it when they go into a shopping mall. This bag is life. The packaging is like giving me palpitations i love i love all this i love all this my dream job is to have my own business for um plus size clothing i would make sure there is different sort of fits you know how there's apple and there's pear and there's hourglass well there needs to be more of those with different body shapes i'd love to design all that um i'd love to have a lingerie section in it for plus size girls that fit properly that are sexy that aren't just full coverage you know you know you know and i'd love to have my own sex toy line so ann summers is great i love ann summers so i will be showing you a few pictures of one of the items i have got like three items um I can't, I didn't really want to video myself in this because one, I think it would be, what is the word, what is the word, I think it would be offensive to my boyfriend maybe to video myself in something that's mainly for, well mainly, it is for his eyes only type situation. Um, I wouldn't want him showing his package off online if you if you know where I'm coming from but also I do want to show how the bras fit and well I'm not showing you the underwear the pants but I really did want to show how the bras fit on my type of body so I will be inserting flashes of pictures um, they won't be videos I didn't want to offend anybody I didn't want to upset anyone so that for me is the best way to go but I did want to show you what they look like on my body so pictures will be coming So, right, it's Valentine's Day, so Ann Summers is a must, okay? Just hear me out. Everybody needs a new brown pants set for Valentine's Day. So, starting with the underwear. <clears throat> they aren't, they didn't come together, they're not like a matching set. Um, what is this? I don't feel like my hair's right. Is that better? They aren't matching as in paired but i found the tones in the bra in the pants that i found across the other side of the store so it does match if that makes sense so the underwear they're so sexy i'm a fan of like really stringy kinky type underwear you might think she's a big girl she'll probably have like a big pants that i don't i have one pair of big pants and that's for the time of the month that is it so Look at these, look at these. Oh my goodness, just look at these. So, they're like a silky purple. And this is the front and we have these like netted mesh in the corners of the bikini area. Um, 
oh, and it's stretchy as well. It's really stretchy. I haven't tried this on yet. Hopefully they fit. And then we have this silky soft bit inside. And wait till I show you the back. You're gonna die. Look, just look at that. Look how beautiful. My mum is gonna probably kill me. Mother, don't watch. But this is just so sleek and so sexy. And they always make the, the underwear really long. And I don't know why. Just because I have a big everything. It doesn't mean like big bum, big hips. It doesn't mean I have a long vagine. Um, so stop doing it on summers. But look how long they are. They're like bigger than my head. So I don't know what, how we're going to work that, we'll, we'll find a way, but yeah, beautiful, super sexy, they've got these gold sort of rings here, how stretchy are we? They are really stretchy, so I'll probably get my fat ass in there, hopefully, well yeah, look at this, this is going to look real good, and these I got in the sale guys, so hurry up and get to your local instruments if you are wanting to get some things on sale for Valentine's Day, so these was £12, which I wouldn't pay for one pair of pants, sorry, but no. They are reduced now to six pounds. And these are a UK 18, I will show you so you don't think I'm lying. It's not focusing, but UK 18, and they're called Larissa Thong Purple. Um, mm hmm mm hmm mm, sexy. Bootiful. Right, so I got the bra, like I said, to match. It's not in the set, it's not a matching bra and pants set, but just, Look, what vibes do you get? I get like seductive mermaid. So we have this like turquoise cup with purple lace over the top. The purple is here. The purple is here. I It's not showing how purple it is, but the purple matches this. It's just not as silky. So the bra straps and the inside cups, it's all purple as you can see, look, see? So purple overlay it will all tie in and look really really pretty um and we also have this little detailing on the front little bow of a little little black diamond type looking thing it's just so pretty i had to have it okay so when things are in the sale because this is in the sale there isn't as many sizes <laughs> and i had to have this so I got the wrong size, but I squeezed myself in it and <laughs> it works, kind of. It's going to be not a productive bra, like I won't be going to work in this. This is pure sex. Um, again, mother, what? don't watch. This was £22 down to £11. And this is called a Kiri, K-I-R-I, Kiri Plunge Bra, teal slash purple. I've got UK size 38D. I'm not I'm gonna tell you what size I am. <laughs> I am a 38 double D, sometimes an E. So that's my size. Um I thought I have to have this. I squeeze my boobs in. But the cups look really small to me. Like, let me just I brought one of my other bras that I have in a 38D to show you the difference. Let me just just, just sat here waiting. So this is the cup of the 38D that fits fine. It is a little bit snug, but it does fit. And then this is this cup. Can you see the difference? There's a huge difference, isn't there? I'm not like, this 38D, this is a 38D. They're both plunge bras. I just don't understand. So I will insert a picture as well of what my boobs look like. Oh, I sound disgusting in my normal bra, normal size bra. And then I'll show you in this and you'll be able to see this village. But this I think is beautiful. Doesn't matter if I'm over spilling any. Last item in my bag. If any of you don't like talking about sex or are offended, then I'd say click off not a dildo don't worry so we have here a pack because i didn't want to go crazy oh did i tell you prices i did you know a pack of lubes they're called lick and mix eight individual sachets cocktail collection now there is like packs of 
standard bottles of lube but they were a bit more expensive and I didn't really want to spend too much it's like I didn't want to I couldn't I bought the things so I couldn't really afford it sorry if this video is super long so these were meant to be £10 down to 4 on the label here took that off um, so there is strawberry flavoured lube in here candy floss flavoured lube cherry flavoured lube passion fruit these some of these flavours are totally different to what I've had before like the strawberry one and cherry is very standard you do get them a lot um, but the passion fruit and the candy floss I like I have to I just have to and I had to come back with something like fun I, there is a sale on but you will not come out of there with something fun for less than 20 to 25 pound on sale so I had to just pick these up so these are what they look like and they're just sachets they can get quite messy um all different colors they're super cute I just thought they're a little fun thing to do play with you know not going into detail but <laughs> that is my little shopping haul I hope I haven't forgot anything no I don't think so no that's it so I hope you enjoyed this I hope you liked my side by side little try ons um, sorry if the bra one did offend anybody I don't want this channel to be like a porn channel <laughs> even though I do talk about sex quite a lot um, but yeah that's just me showing how the bra fit because if any of you do want to go to Anne Summers and pick up that bra you can see how how different the cups are and how squished in it can you know make the girls um, so I just wanted to show you that it's not for any pervs or anything out there please understand that um, and I'm gonna leave it there I haven't got any plans for the rest of my day other than to film some more so I will see you in the next video guys take care of yourself if I have forgotten any prices or you do want more details on any of the items comment down below and I will get back to you I always get back to you so like this video subscribe share if you can or you have time um, that I really do appreciate it and I will see you next time Bye. Look, look, no transfer. Great.